Hi, welcome to this one. Now, in this one, we will be continuing with our window function. And in this one, basically, we'll be doing a count over. So what is count over? Count over is basically when you're trying to just count either the number of rows that basically occurs of, you know, a certain, you know, country or a certain country code or a certain year or a certain category in your data set while you still maintain your level of granularity of the data set. So here we just add a new column, just like every other window function. So here, just to demonstrate, we go into query and then we do the same. Here we do like a count. So we do some count and the count is basically, so here we have to, for count, we basically have to include, okay, so what exactly are we, you know, trying to count here? We're basically counting you know, count star, and then we do some over. So we do the partition, right? And we do the partition by. So where we have the partition by, and then we'll be partitioning by the country name in this case. So here we want to see for every country name, you know, how many times does it occur in the data set? Here, we still have to put the star so we can see the rest of our data set and then we can run the queries, right? So here we run the query. And then we notice that, for instance, we have the address of Bajan has 101 occurrences, right? And maybe when we go to the last page, for instance, we could see the Dominic Republic has 101. So it seems like every country in this data set kind of has like 101, maybe not every country, but maybe like majority of the countries anyways. So this is like, you know, an eye opener. This is just the idea of counting by. And I mean, we could also count the number of years that is available in, I mean, the number of times different years is available, right? So for instance, how many times do we have year 1950 in the data set? So here, maybe here we, So here we will run the query and then what we will see is we will see the normal data set like as usual. And then we will see, you know, like this is just counting the number of times that 2050 is showing in a data set. And you could just see it. It's kind of consistent for every point where 2050 is. And when you go to the, you know, subsequent um, years, you also see for 1999, you have 228, which is basically the same. So this is just the idea of count. Um, in the next one, we'll be looking at another window function because the window functions are very, very powerful. Thank you. Um, if you like this video, make sure your love. You can subscribe to the channel and you could also ask questions in the comment. See you on the next one. Thank you.